Okay, welcome back to me playing Tears of the Kingdom. If you're watching later on YouTube, as always, thank you for clicking. Hope you have been enjoying. There's a Nintendo Direct later, as I was just saying here on stream. Uh, I'll be checking that out live, I think. I'm pretty certain it's at midnight my time, so it's at a, and an okay hour. Um, yeah, I mean, I already know what one of the games is. It's like a new 1-2 Switch, pretty much. Uh, expect 5 to 10 minutes of the Direct being that, and then another 5 to 10 minutes being Pikmin 4. So it's like a window of roughly 20 minutes where maybe they can drop a surprise. I'm not expecting anything, to be honest. I think... If anything's gonna happen, it'll be like, oh, we hear something about Metroid Prime 4, the game that's been in development all these years. Or maybe they surprise us with just, you know, the second game remastered. I'm not sure they're gonna be doing anything amazing. It might be a bit early to announce DLC for this game, but you never know. I mean, Nintendo probably has DLC already planned for this. Let's be real, the, that's modern day Nintendo these days, is just, they already know the DLC. Um, what is Lost in the Dunes? There's some stuff that I just haven't done. I'm just worried that this is like a march to the end. You know? That's why I don't want to go do that. I have one Geo... I guess I can go... F the problem is... There's one Geoglyph missing. It's not really a Geoglyph, another memory. Um... Yeah, I'm just worried going to Hyrule Castle is the end. Which I don't really want to do that right now. Oh no, the intermission was, was usually just five minutes long. Um, what's, I've, got, I've got a lot of side quests. A lot of side quests. Oh, do I want to know if it's the end? Well, I guess it's not a spo- Is it a spoiler? I guess if it's the end, I'll avoid it, but if it's not the end, I won't avoid it. Yeah, so I, I guess, hit me, like... Is the castle the end of the game? If it is, I'm gonna avoid it. If it isn't, I'm not gonna avoid it. It's not the end. Okay, well... Maybe we can do that, then. Okay. Um... Let me just get my bearings, like... I've got- I've got a lot of quests. I feel like some of these are gonna be... Particularly the- well, the heroine secret. I got the feeling there's gonna be like a, a shrine thing involved here. Oh. Oh. Yeah, on, on the topic of, like, um, the ratings thing, it's something Twitch has just launched now, so the going live notification was a bit of a joke about that. But now streamers are required to tag their streams if, um, almost like as if it was a movie, right? Like, you just have to say if your stream has, uh, yeah, profanity, sexual references, um, drug use, which covers alcohol. It's not like people are going to shoot up on the stream, but... Or snort cocaine, that's not it at all. It's more, um... I guess if, if weed is legal where you are, or if you like to uh, partake in the spicy water, you have to tag it now. So for me, it's kind of like, well, I just have to perma-tag the stream as profanity and sexual references, because, I mean, every now and then... The conversations go to places that, uh, stray away from, from whatever lord you may believe in. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. I completely forgot about this. Ma! <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna be ripping a bong on stream. Okay. Yeah, I'm in mean, small money. Though, if, if there's anywhere that's going to happen, first, it's probably going to be Victoria. Like, I would bet that the first state to legalize stuff will be Victoria. It just makes sense. Does it not take into consideration our age to see it will send such messages or not? I don't know. Like, the whole thing is really naive and stupid. Is like, at the end of the day, listen, you can show all the messages in the world, but, like, kids will watch shit that they shouldn't be watching. It's just a thing. Like, I was a kid once, and I watched a bunch of shit I shouldn't have. And at the end of the day, it's just like... Well, it's the parent's responsibility to make sure that doesn't happen. It's like, take an interest in what your child is doing. Some people are just very quick to have a computer be the babysitter. And I don't mean to fire shots, but it's just like... In Australia in particular, we have a lot of content that is banned just because it's just a case of, well, what would happen if a child would get their hands onto it? And it's just like, well, if a child got their hands onto it, it's just because the parent isn't taking enough attention to see what they're doing. It's not to say that the parent should know everything. I think that's... That's a very hard thing to do, right? But, in general... If your kid's watching something, and like, let's say me, I just start talking about massive penises, right? And just... Lewd shit. Then, you'd want to know that your child is watching something where some random Australian dude is talking about cock. At least I think so, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the, the tablet thing is, is a problem, um, especially with some of the cursed content that gets generated. Chat, have you, have you gone down the Finger Family rabbit hole? Let me tell you, that's quite the rabbit hole to go down, but the, uh, the gist of it is there's a bunch of videos that get made and they take whatever is trending and turn it into, like, something that's meant for kids, and they just use AI to, to script it, more or less. So, like, let's say, I don't know, Spider-Man was trending recently, right? Because of the, uh, the movie. So they'll make a video about Spider-Man, and they'll put a bunch of characters in there, and just generate a bunch of quick shit, and they kind of make it seem like it's telling a story, like, as if it's for children, like a nursery rhyme. Like, the tone of it seems very... Oh yeah, this is just telling a story. But it's not. It's just it's some some of it is just the most cursed shit you will see. And the people talking just speak in broken English. So you know, parents will put their their little kids in front of an iPad or a laptop or whatever. And autoplay will do its thing. And eventually these videos turn up. And they are they are just really, really bad. <laughs> just I, I kind of worry about the next generation a little, just because anyone that has had that kind of upbringing, they're just going to see cursed shit, man. Like, if you don't believe me, go look up the Sonic the Hedgehog finger family stuff. There was one in particular I was watching where it was telling a sad story, but happy ending, and the sad story was that... Sonic the Hedgehog got Amy pregnant and was bullying her. So then overnight, um, to teach Sonic the Hedgehog a lesson, I don't know, some mystical thing, put the baby inside Sonic the Hedgehog, and then the roles were reversed. And then it just kind of ends abruptly with Sonic dying. And that's the end of, that's the moral of the story is just like, don't, don't pick on the pregnant lady, otherwise you might become pregnant overnight and die.
It is the most unhinged shit I have ever seen, and yeah. It's just this thing that, um... Unbeknownst to par- unbeknownst to parents. If you do, uh... Put your child in front of an algorithm, that's what's going to happen. Very strange people out there. I don't think they're strange at all, like... The content is strange, but the, the thing is, it all comes from AI generation at the end of the day. It's like they... They punch in... Just a, uh... A prompt, more or less. They get a script, and then they just get something to read it out automatically. And they put animation behind it. Like, it's something that is such low effort. And they just get mad advertising money out of it, because it's just... Kids watching it. It just... Somehow they know how to... Make it appear... In the feeds of, uh, like... Parents that, uh, put... Ch kids videos to play. The thing is, they're very short-lived, like, those videos tend to get removed... Very quickly. When... They realize, oh shit, this shouldn't be there, but it, it's just, it's a business. It's kind of fascinating. It's, it's, a, it's a very weird rabbit hole. I first uh, learned about this. There was a, there's a channel that, whilst isn't too active anymore, it has a lot of quality videos just on, on this sort of shit. Uh, it's called Down the Rabbit Hole, the channel. It's by a dude called Frederick Knudsen. Um, and one, this was one of the topics, it was like finger family videos. Just the kind of ones that were out there at the time. And they weren't too hinged, honestly. Like, the ones the guy goes over in the video, they're still relatively tame, but still weird. But the ones out there now, man, they are just like, just extra levels of curse. But, it's a good series to watch if you're ever up late and wanna just, you can't sleep and want something interesting to watch. Yeah, Down the Rabbit Hole is great. Apparently he's working on a new video, so, yeah, look forward to seeing it. Okay, I just wanted to walk around the fields a little bit because I haven't really done that. I know that there's probably stuff around here. Got to get out of the house for the moment. No worries, Edrigal. All good. Yeah, there's uh, there's some weird shit out there for sure. There's a Korok. I'm going around here because maybe there's a shrine I missed because it was underground. There we go. There's one more. Where is it? Over there. Oh no, it's two more. Another thing I heard, okay, this is a guilty pleasure of mine, but, like, I like watching Kitchen Nightmares. Just because there's something satisfying about Gordon Ramsay just calling people out on being just arrogant, stupid dickheads. But, uh, that's coming back. There's gonna be a new season of it, so... I'm not much for reality TV shows, but I do enjoy... I don't know, there's just something about it. Maybe living vicariously, maybe... The, it's just cathartic at times, but... Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, they're doing another another season of it. From what I read the other day, so... Um, yeah, Hell's Kitchen is, is good too. I think as well, because... I don't mind reality TV shows where there's like a process or an outcome. It's more the ones where it's just like... People arguing and talking about other people. That's just, to me, I don't know. Uh, I don't, I don't personally like it. Ultimately, it's, if you find joy in that stuff, that, that's fine. It's, uh, honestly, I, I get it. It's, you wanna, however you can find 
happiness and you know chill at the end of the day it's all it's all up to you it's fine i don't believe on in shitting on people's enjoyment of the content but i will shit on the content itself <laughs> It's just petty high school drama to me, and I, I don't enjoy that. But if you do, that's fine. I had a friend once who, uh... I would not picture them as the kind of person to watch that kind of stuff, but they love that, that shit. And I asked them why, and the reason they said is, you know, sometimes after you've, uh... You've had a long day and, you know, kind of want to chill. There's just something about people being human dumpster fires that is just satisfying and it makes you glad that you're just not them. And you know what? I, I can understand that. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing more of that. Hell's Kitchen is is kind of hard to watch in Australia because it just airs on on normal TV at a weird hour. I think it's even moved to cable, which makes it more difficult to watch. But the seasons I've seen, they've been fun. I've been watching Long Lost Family to show where people who were put up for adoption are looking for their parents or looking for their kid. They gave up. It's a good show. Alright. Okay. There's a fortress here. I was just hoping. Yeah, honestly, I, 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 most of my entertainment comes from Twitch, YouTube, and then um, Crunchyroll for anime, and then the occasional thing on Netflix. So I'm like pretty close to getting rid of Netflix, um, just because. Well, I don't agree with their their price hike on passwords thing, but. It's more just, I don't, I don't know, their shows have been pretty eh lately, like I can't really say. Here's the problem with Netflix shows is like, because they're so heavily reliant on some, some measure that is effectively almost to an algorithm point. I find it very hard to invest in, in a Netflix show because you just don't know if it's going to be around past its first season, let alone go for it an extended amount of time it's just i feel like a lot of netflix shows just end up in purgatory or just get cancelled so i find it really hard to invest my time in tv shows because they just seem to sweep the rug you know uh there's there's an australian streaming service called Stan that I recently got that I think that to me is is ringing more of a bell because um it's full of tv shows there's new ones on there they, they got like exclusive American tv shows that they have the rights to here in Australia so it's not all old stuff but they have a large collection of just stuff that used to air on tv in the 1990s and early 2000s so like sitcoms um movies uh, even cartoon shows, so... I've kind of been enjoying that one a bit more. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, Netflix is just... It's seeming less relevant. The last thing I watched on Netflix was that 90s show and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Like, because they got the rights to Stone Ocean.
But other than that, the past few months, I don't think I've, I've watched anything on there. It's more of there just in case, oh yeah, I, I want to watch a movie. And th that movie just happens to be on Netflix. But I think, it, I, I think I'm like getting to the point where... Unless I'm watching multiple movies a month, it's almost to the point where I think it's better to just rent it on, on Apple or Amazon or something. And then watch it and be done with it. And that's, you know... Whilst I'm paying for it, yeah, it's still less than a, a Netflix subscription per month. It, it just is. Get Your Nightmares is one of the only shows on free to that you enjoy. Yeah, it's on, it's on YouTube, thankfully, a lot of it. Pretty much all of it. Um, but I think the Fredo air stuff, it's just like, I can't deal with the ads, man. Everything, everything is just... It's just the same. Remember when YouTube had no ads? I don't think I, I watched a lot of YouTube back in its early days. I may have done a little bit of it. Like the odd video here and there, but... It wasn't something I, I browsed constantly. But I mean, that's just how it is. It's just... The costs of running something like that are huge. Like, I get it. Not sure where it is. Oh, it's just there. Wait, did I accidentally find it and move? Because this moved. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I think in, in the time where YouTube was in its early days, I just had terrible internet and just consuming video was was a difficult thing. Unless I could download it, it was very hard to, to watch stuff or streaming. Probably why I didn't get to experience much. I had just dumpster fire quality internet until I moved out, pretty much. Hip. Hip. Which is, yeah, I mean, I always talk about just, if only I had started streaming five years sooner, you know? Before it, it hit that critical mass point. What made me start streaming? Uh, I mean, I guess it was... It was a thing where... 
so I had res I had moved out of home, and so I was uh, was kind of on my own for a bit. And I guess I just wanted to do something as a bit of a hobby, something outside of work, and just I guess try to be a bit more social. And it would be something that I could do in the evenings, whenever I could, because the thing was... A lot of my friends in that time period, whenever they wanted to go do something, they wanted to go do something in the city. Which, at the time, was over an hour away from where I lived. And so, having work a lot of the time just kind of made it hard to justify that. Especially because it just cost money and I just wasn't making much at the time. So, yeah, I just decided pretty much on a whim. I think it was like just before the New Year. I was like, alright, you know what? I'm gonna try this in the New Year. I've heard stuff about Twitch. I, I got games I can play. I'll give it a go. And I just set it up and away I went. That was it. But I was just, just, it just kind of came from a place where I was just going to work, coming home, and then just not really getting much time for myself. Like, my friends were doing stuff and I couldn't join them. Um, so, you know, it was, it was a little bit of, a, I just wanted a little bit of socializing as well. And it just felt like I was being boxed in a little bit, if I'm being honest, to be real with you. But, you know, um, eventually I did end up moving to the city close to work because it, it just became untenable just living that far out from my job and then traffic just becoming insane. Like, it, it was just depressing, man. So, that, that changed um, quite a bit. Hope I'm doing good on money now. Oh, no, I'm fine. Like, I, I don't mean to say... I don't mean to make it sound like I was struggling. I wasn't struggling by any means. It's just... Okay, if I... If you go out for the night, right? And then you stay out past the point where public transport stops. Then catching a taxi back home... Was like minimum of a hundred bucks. Pretty much. Right? And that was the kind of thing where... If I was doing that every weekend, that's, uh, like, just living within my means. I could have done it, but then I wouldn't have savings. I wouldn't be able to go do a bunch of other stuff, right? I wouldn't be able to purchase some of the things that, um, honestly make me happy. Like, I, I like getting retro games from time to time. Or maybe getting an album that I enjoy on vinyl. Like, just stuff like that. I wouldn't be able to do it. I, I would have just been living week to week. I would have been fine. There's a hundred minimum on a taxi. Yeah, it was kind of disgusting. Um, but yeah, I mean, my streaming, <laughs> streaming thing, I honestly see it as I've only been streaming stably for like the last almost four years now. Because I started streaming and then six months later I, I moved to the city and then couldn't stream for... Three months, because the house just did not have an internet connection. That was a mess. And then, when we did get the internet connection, it was it was horrible. Like, I, I can't- words cannot describe how bad that connection was. But, it was effectively nine months of me streaming on a connection where if you were here in chat, and I was talking right now, like, you know, the chat message I get right now, I'd read it, and then you'd see my reaction ten minutes later. That's how bad the delay was. For nine months. And the quality was 240p. Like, we're talking blurry VHS quality. That's- that's what I had to do for a while, because the internet connection just could not handle it. And then, I just- yeah, I mean... I moved into the place where I am now, and got the good internet connection back, and here we are. So... That happened, like, about almost four years ago. So... It didn't let me figure out what I wanted to do from a content perspective until then. So, I, yeah, I mean, I've been streaming for six years. 
but really I don't consider I guess me figuring out what I want to do and just be getting to a point where I'm happy with what I'm doing and till like the last three years really glad I did twist you were looking for Aussie streamers and then the channel popped up yeah you know what's funny about that is like I, I still don't understand that I'm not sure if it's a case of Australians don't watch watch Twitch or what, but like, I always found it odd that I've never been able to have that many Australian viewers. I'm not sure why. It's just, I can count most of the ones that are active and around on a com on a regular basis on one hand. I, I just, I, I've never understood why. Um. Going to have an anniversary party. Yeah, the anniversary is on New Year's Day. Uh, I was I was a genius and decided to stream on New Year's Day. So you know that day when no one ever does every anything at all. That's that's my stream anniversary. I, I placed it as a all right day one of the new year. Let's let's start this now. At the time, good motivation and yeah. But, <laughs> in retrospect, it is a fucking horrible stream anniversary. Although, now now that I'm a bit older, I guess it's less the case, because I, I don't really... Chat, I don't... I'm very to myself. I, I enjoy the company of others, I do. But sometimes, I just... I'd rather stay home, you know, and chill and just... Particularly on New Year's, where it's just there's crowds everywhere. And in Australia, you gotta understand, like, it gets- it gets really fucking hot. And just someone being like, let's do something for New Year's, and- So, unless I'm going over to someone's house or something, like, they wanna go somewhere, I just... Yeah. Uh, uh, don't get me wrong, I've done it. But, as I get older, I just- I don't find the need to do that anymore. Yeah, it was a genius idea. Um, yeah, because the, the way it works is because it's New Year's Day for Australia, it means it's New Year's Eve for everyone else. So it's not that it's New Year's Day for everyone else, it's New Year's Eve for everyone else. And that's, there lies the problem. Um, but, you know, I've done New Year's Eve streams for the last two years, and they've, they've been decent, honestly. People pop in, you know, they, they might be partaking in festivities, they say hi, or people stick around, because... Um... Like me, you know, they... They prefer a quiet one. I had my era where I used to, uh, go, go hang out with friends, do the thing, and then the very next day, step off a train and go to work at Kmart, right? <laughs> I had my era where I just kind of, I, I lived a bit like that for a while, but, yeah, now that I'm, I'm past 30 chat, like, it's just, I'm not doing that. Even if I do want to date someone, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it the best effort to, like, not make it a thing again. It's just, I don't know. I, I'm personally past that. Especially now, since most places, they, they're charging entry, man. It's just, oh, you want me to spend a bunch of money at your establishment, but also pay to get in? Okay. An entry is like, the last time I went out was minimum $20, it was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> we 
twin pancakes on New Year's Eve. I don't know, that's... I, I can't think that far ahead. It's like six months away. I could say yes in spirit and just say yes for the sake of being social and, you know, um, almost to a small talk degree. I can just be completely honest and be like, I don't fucking know. So, I'm gonna choose the latter and just say, ask me again in like five months. I believe in laying down plans if you can honestly stick to them. I've had a lot of people that, well, come and go in my life that they like saying yes to stuff and then when you finally go, okay, let's do this now, they're like, oh, yeah, no, well, like, I can't now, um, sorry. And I get it, like, life, life is life, you can't always be available. It's fine, but yeah, there's just, there are people that just say yes for the sake of saying yes. And it's a pattern. It's just, you get excited about something and realistically they could never do it in the first place. Listen, man, we're going to start a band, yeah? I'm telling you, we're totally gonna do it. I'm gonna start a band, and I'm gonna practice every weekend. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna book some gigs, and then we're gonna get famous, man. You watch, it's gonna happen. I'm going to, I'm going to purchase my drum kit tomorrow, man. I don't know where that came from. I've never been in a band chat. I just. <laughs> Just kind of screams that sort of energy. I was never in a band. I am, I am not musically talented at all. I was just, I guess, trying to give a cliche where you know there's one person who just keeps saying yeah we're totally gonna do this and then the reality is you're never gonna do it yeah i i as someone in their 30s now i try to surround myself with people that i can rely on when they say you know they want to do something it means that genuinely they do want to and if they do cancel, like, they give enough notice and they, you know, respect... We respect e each other's time. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to hide musical talent. I'm, r I'm really not. <laughs> Trust me. Tr trust me on this one. I, I have very bad dexterity. Like, I either do things too strong or too weak. I, I've told the story of how in high school a teacher got me to, to tap on a window to get someone's attention. And then my fist went through the window. In my mind, I was tapping the glass very soft. And it was a cold day, to be fair. But that's, that's the kind of energy that you're dealing with when it comes to me. I'm not clumsy, it's more just if I if I have to do something with a precision level of strength, I just can't do it. Man, I I suck at rhythm games. <laughs> I really do. Like just there's plenty of examples on the VODs channel, but honestly, just any any section that's a rhythm section, I just I fucking suck at it. Like go watch me play Yakuza Zero. There was a rhythm section in that that I just got tilted super hard because I just couldn't do it.
that actually happened to you, wait. This guy said how he was going to make it big and get all these gigs for you and him. You arranged the practice together. He never showed up and he blocked you online. Wow. <laughs> so it, it hit a bit close to home, that one. But you know what I mean. It's just... Look, people are, people are going to be people. You can't get too angry at that. But at the same time... I made it a thing where I, I, I guess... If I want to put my energy into something, and I want to get excited about something, I need to be surrounded with with people that respect, we respect each other's time, and don't have a pattern of just saying yes, and then ultimately they're never going to follow through on what they're saying. It's just, you, we're only on this planet for a certain amount of time, and... It, it just feels like a waste, even though it might not necessarily be their fault, and you know... They might genuinely want to do the thing they're saying, but, you know... I guess they just can't be honest with themselves and go, well, okay, yeah, maybe I can't realistically do it. And maybe that might make me a bit mean spirit or something, but I just... I hit a point in my life where just a bunch of that was happening way too often, and it just... it sucked, man. There's no other way to put it. And I am a lot happier. Oh, you dick. I think I can pull it out of the river, though. What time is- oh shit, it's gonna disappear if I don't- It disappeared. Unfortunately, it was raining, so I couldn't get my footing. Yeah, it's gone. Alright, well. I need a photo of this. Hang on. I want it- I want it mid-action. We're getting an action shot here. Come on, dude. Is this really gonna be boring? Oh, you know what? I c oh no, I got a I got a way to force this. Enjoy. There we go. That's that's in action. Doesn't matter. That's facing the other way. Dun 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 dun. Just dance stream. Dancing is is different. If I was with friends and we were hanging out, sure. As far as the stream goes, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. It's like this, right? If I'm hanging out with a bunch of people in real life. And they all are very keen to go to karaoke. Whilst it's not my thing, I'll, I'll be like, sure. If you were to ask me to do a karaoke stream, absolutely not. Chat, I embarrass myself enough with some of the noises I make. Like, I, I, don't, I don't need... I don't need every single aspect <laughs> of what I could do here. Be made fun of. I, I got one thing, that's fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. I need you, I need you, I need you. I need all of you. What I do at Mario Kart stream on New Year's. Again, it's like six months away. In principle, if enough people were interested and said yes and turned up, sure. Am I going to agree to it now? Nope. Because that is six months away. 
another case of ask me again in five months. I haven't played it since the game came out, so you know. But the, the thing is, when you do play with viewers, there's always... You ever been to a party and there's that one person that is clearly so much better at a game than other people? That, that happens every time. It's fun when everyone's on equal footing. It's not so much when there's one person that... And it's not their fault. It's just... Yeah. It be it's one of those things where that person just wins every time and then it just stops being fun. And then they're like, well, come on. How come we're not playing anymore? It's like, because you're only winning. It's like you're kicking everyone's ass by not even a small margin, man. Chat, I know someone that always wants to split every time there's a social gathering between us. They always want to play Smash Brothers. Okay, they call it Smash, so that there's already a sign. But um they always want to play Smash Brothers. And the reason they do that is because like they they play nothing but Smash Brothers, or did for a while. I'm not sure that's the case anymore, but they were just into the esports scene and all that, you know, talking about strategies, mains, and just characters that were good or bad, and it's, you know, very passionate about the game. There's nothing wrong about it, but would always be surprised when no one wanted to play the game, and there's always a case of, dude, you're just so much better at this game than any of us. You're not going to get a challenge out of it. It's, why? Why do you want to play with us? It's just, at, at this point, you're just showing off, man. <laughs> It's just, you, you know where our skill level's at relative to you. It's just, it's not fun for us. And I think it's only fun for you because you're just kicking our asses over and over again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, the president's standing! Alright. That was brilliant. I would never have thought of that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you in Call of Duty. You don't like that game that much, but you always died and let the team down. Yeah. I think as if there's not... A, t a team dynamic is different. Because you're working together. Because you can, you can work on that and eventually get to a point where it's fine. Huh? It's more when it's like a... You know, 1v1 type situation. Right? Like something with a competitive nature where it's only you. See, so here, here's my guide to like, if I am going to play a particular game with someone and I'm bad at it. If that, the, if that person immediately asks me what my main, what main, what's my main, I will never play that game with them because they clearly are like on a much higher skill level than me that they care about that stuff. Whereas in me, it's like, I don't know, man. It's, I pick whatever character that I think is fun at the time. It's like, oh yeah, I want to play as Link. I want to be the swordsman right now. I'm not thinking about which... I don't practice to get one to be, like, to the point where I'm just picking it every time. So if you ever get asked that question and you're not good at the game, I'd recommend... Like, being careful about playing. Because it's likely you're in for an ass kicking. I mean, I'm sweaty with certain games. I'm not immune to that. There are certain games that I, I know that I'm above average on. And I know that there are people that would not want to play this game with me because of that reason. So, it's fine. Ooh, another president. Like the bridge game? Well, that's not multiplayer. Like, in our family for a while, I was really good at Street Fighter, and so... You know, we'd play for a bit, and then I'd always end up winning constantly. And then no one would want to play, and then I kind of caught on. 
So I would play a couple rounds and then retire and just watch other people play and that's and when I when I started doing that that is falling over but okay how's the president standing when I started doing that instead of you know us playing Street Fighter for maybe half an hour to an hour it ended up with um Street Fighter being played for like four to five hours like a lengthy session you'd just be surprised how much people get demotivated when they're just losing constantly to someone better <laughs> And it's not because they're sore losers or anything, it's just... It gets boring, man, when it's just one person winning over and over again. I will go to the castle, I just wanna... Roam around the fields for a bit. This is an area I didn't... Did, yeah, I mean, you look at it, right? It's kind of empty. Plus, when I'm talking and having a conversation about something, uh, the focus does go a little out the window, but I, I know roughly what I'm doing. Uh, sure. Just follow this riverbank. Alright, I'll tell you what, like, the only thing that I kind of want some guidance on right now is, like... So I have the opportunity to play Final Fantasy. If I want to. But I'm kind of debating whether I should. Because, one, it's a long game. And I have uh, Zelda and Diablo to kind of tend to right now. And plans to play other stuff. So if I start that, that's kind of going to derail shit a little bit. But two... I've never played a game in that style before here. I don't think I have, so... Like, I'm talking RPG that's 100 hours plus. So... I'm not entirely sure people are down for that one. Especially since I imagine the rule of spoilers will come into play where some won't watch because they don't want to get spoiled. Wait, when you were five, your dad dropped you off to play Street Fighter and you would play the first round, and if you died, your friend who was awesome at it would play the second and third round. Okay, and that's how you usually beat the game, it was a nice memory of games. Oh, okay. I've heard the new St Street Fighter is pretty good, actually. This is because of uh, the character designer and the free roam mode. But if I was to get it, I'd only be playing it for that. I wouldn't go beyond that. For that sort of stuff, I'd keep it casual. One of the streamers I was watching decided to check out the Street Fighter game. The new one. And at the start, it was fine. He was having fun. But by the end of it, he just got a bunch of... A bunch of people who are very passionate about the game and, you know, I'm sure what they were saying from an advice point of view was the optimal way to do things, but they were just getting annoying and being very backseaty. It kind of, uh, puts me off a little if I see that too often when people are streaming a game when I'm watching it. We all have our own playstyles. 
And even if someone's not doing something optimally or the best way, it's just let them play and either figure it out for themselves or wait until they, they ask for that advice. Because otherwise you're just removing the potential of like... I don't know, something entertaining happening because the streamer just isn't doing things correctly or maybe doing things in a weird way. It's just, you're kind of removing the chance of just something fun happening. It would get annoying if we started telling the optimal way to play this game. Yeah, um... Here's my stance on, on backseating. For here in particular. Okay? If it's... If it's something that I have personally played already... I don't mind, it's kind of just like, whatever, it's not spoiling a thing. It might bring up something that I don't know about. But if I'm- if I... Don't have any interest in it, then you should just let the let- just let it go. It's like, okay, yeah, he heard me, but he's not gonna do it, and that's fine. But when it comes to something like this, I just- I- I won't tolerate it. Um... But generally, generally people are pretty good about it, like... There's only been a couple of times where I've had to been like, Alright, yeah... Just... Let me do it this way. Like, I get- I get that what I'm about to do is wrong, but let me figure that out because... You're just robbing me of the experience of, uh... Figuring it out myself. I think it's it's fine for someone to go down the wrong path. You can't just go straight. You can't just go straight to the perfect goal right away. Yeah, but I, I generally don't have bad things to say. Um... It's like, pre the regulars are good here, chat. That's one thing I'm always appreciative of, is just... I have a good chat. <laughs> I'll just say that. I mean, sure, every now and then, someone new might not- might turn up and just... Not quite be with the program in that regard. But in general, everyone's- everyone's good here. Oh, yeah, okay. I know what this is. This is where I- this is where I- I fell into here from the sky. And there was a thunderstorm, and then this just became a death chamber. <laughs> there was a treasure chest that just kept repeatedly getting struck by lightning. And I almost died. That's the kind of luck I have. this one gonna work? Is there a heavy object nearby? Otherwise I may have to make... Okay, let's just do this, right? So... Hang on. Uh, where is it? Am I gonna get all the yahahas? I'm not sure. I've, I've kind of been on the fence about it. I'll get get out of here. Okay, there we go. 
I forgot to build it. You just use a rocket. Yeah. I'm just worried it's gonna hit the bridge or something, but this is this is another way to do it. I usually use a rocket as well, but this is my other way of doing this. Okay, not quite, almost. It just becomes awkward to spin. Hang on. Why is it why is it being weird? I can't I can't rotate it this way. Okay, that, that ah why? Is it really that heavy? It's it's cork, man. Cork is not heavy. Sure. There we go. So that, that's an alternative way to do it. It can also serve as a trampoline. If you want to get up to places, it has multiple uses. Okay, um, I just noticed this. Oh. Oh, wait, there. Need more fish. Yes, I know a complication to get back up. I could have just teleported, but that's fine. Okay. Another president. That's the other thing, is if you follow the road, you get a lot of these ones. Standing. Ah. Okay. <laughs> what is the point of a sign if partway through the words there's a hole in it? Functionally, this is... Oh look, it's my my contraption is over here. That's funny. I might be able to use it for this clock here.
There you go. Ah. Oh, the stake vanished. It timed out. Yeah, okay. That's just gonna be annoying. <laughs> yeah, ha ha! Damn it, I thought it was gonna time it out. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. I have not experienced anything remotely close to the, the bugs I experienced in Breath of the Wild. I just don't know what happened with that playthrough. The world is threatened once again. The first time I played Breath of the Wild, chat, nothing went wrong. Not a single thing I can remember where I was like, oh, that is a bug. Not once. And it's because I played it off stream. I wasn't streaming in that period. That last playthrough just, I think the, at least 13 times, at least 13 times. Different ways of just bugging out the game. Aww. Was this not the way to Hatino Village? I can't get lost now, not after sp spending all that time with the Gerudo Dollmaker learning how to make sand seal plushies. Okay. Aww. Right. Good evening, children. I'm the sand seal lady. Hmm, not much pizzazz to it. How about? Aww. Evening, kids. It's nice to see you. Everyone's sealing good? Oh, no. <laughs> Woof. Bake it till you make it, I guess. But it'll be worth it to see those kids beaming with Joe. What are you doing? <laughs> you startled me. Give a gal some warning next time. Ah, my toys. Works so hard to make ten of them. Now this... Oh. Let me help. Picking up and loading them into the cart. She'll pay me for my problem. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh. All right. So here's the thing, chat. This is how you. This is how you do this. You ready? Not, not this. That, that was an accident. Wait. <sighs> this. Oh, it doesn't come up in history. Ah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> it's okay. Nothing happened to the horse. The master sword knew not to do anything. Jeez, that, that felt like something out of the office, like... That episode where they go t to that Japanese restaurant, I think it was Benihana. But like, Dwight just starts describing the correct way to slaughter a goose. He's screaming, Cindy! Cindy! <laughs> I don't know. What you do is you insert the knife into the goose's neck. Uh, um... Okay, this is not good. Um, Xenai devices, I need footing. Bullshit. Lies. I'm wasting time here. Okay, um... It's just not letting me. Alright, um... Okay, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna fail this. 
I was trying to be clever and now I've just wasted so much time. Can I just can I just concede? Oh my god. Why does it do this sometimes? Like, Link just doesn't come up for air. Okay, you know what? Let's just load. Ah, oh, it's that far back. Right, I'm gonna have to fail. I have the right idea, I just wasted so much time. I got four. So do I just scare her again? What about recall? Oh, yeah. I just kind of assumed recall didn't work. Well, fuck me then. Genius. Get the furthest ones away with recall. Then I don't have to dive in. Think about. Oh, they fall out. Okay, that's the problem with recall, but you know what? It's fine. Okay, now we're at a point where I can just do this. Done picking them all up. That was fast. I probably got to go on quicker. Heck yeah. I mean, okay. Like it's a profit of about tw what sixty.
I mean, that's, that's been a, an hour of roaming, I think. Okay, um... Cool, well... Not to go, like, too, uh... Disjointed. I mean, there's definitely Koroks here. Link. Link. What? Come to me. I am <laughs> waiting. Doesn't sound like her. Waiting for you. Does not sound like her. Pip. Well, I didn't do this because Hyrule Castle, so I kind of assumed this was a march to the end. That's why I didn't touch it. But also, I went and did other shrines. So excuse me for associating... Associating this with the end. I guess subversion of uh, expectations. Yeah, that's fine. I still think this. I don't know, the sage system could have been better. I suggested a way to make it so each one is just a button press. They could have done it. It's just, it's clunky to have to walk up and talk to them. Like, you know, the arrow could have been when you pull out the bow, you press a button to get her to uh, do the thing. Alright, so instead of walking up and talking to her, when I pull out the bow, make it a button. Alright? For this dude, I throw him, so when I throw, make it a button, so then we're throwing him instead. Side on, when I'm blocking, make it a button, so then when I'm blocking, he applies the shield on me. And Chulin does his own shit, and he does it well, so there's no need to alter Chulin at all. But I just- I don't understand why they've made it this thing where you have to walk up to them. Like... For me to do a ranged attack, I have to walk up to a character that's walked into melee battle. So I have to run into danger to be able to do a ranged shot. It's just so counterproductive. And... Yeah, man, I don't know. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> it's, it seems like an oversight. Yeah, they, exactly what they did to Chulon. It's like, contextually, it makes sense. He, he is the only one that functions properly, in my opinion. The others is just like, for some reason, it didn't occur to them. But you look at it, right? Like, you want Sidon's thing when you're blocking. You want... Um, hello. You want your Nobos thing because you're throwing him like a bomb. It's just... It's not that hard. Where is this Korok? Probably below.
Um, there was a question earlier that I kind of missed, like if Nintendo was net to announce DLC, what would it be? It's a very hard question because a lot of the DLC from Breath of the Wild is in this game, just as a thing. I mean, it would have to be something along the lines of what uh, Trial of the Sword was. And I guess Master Mode would probably be the two. Beyond that, I'm not quite sure what else they could do. Unless Master Mode is like a new game plus when you get to the end of this. I, I don't know. Probably not. Hmm. I didn't find the Korok. You wish Trial of the Sword was in this game. I don't. <laughs> I'm not going to get those four hours of my life back on floor 11. stupidest the stupidest thing ever it's just that one floor is harder than the entirety of the rest of the trial Ooh, this is annoying If we got a Hyrule Warriors game for this. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if they did this. I'll take the hit, it's fine. I'm surprised the water shield doesn't protect you. Yeah, I mean, that was honestly just so I could see where this Korok is. It's probably above. I haven't tried a Warriors game yet, um, but I know it's it's a very different playstyle. I was gonna say, okay, calm down, Satan. Karak hopped up on caffeine. I'm so I'm so happy that this is a 2D map, by the way. That was one of the things that I really did not like about Breath of the Wild is just the 3D map shit. I just, I just get so disoriented in the 3D map. I'm glad they, they, uh, they chose to go back to 2D maps. It just, it just makes more sense. Like, the 3D map is just gimmicky. Even where I need to go? No, it's not. Oh, she's like over there. Yeah, I mean, still, I, I needed to explore this anyway. You know, else being able to see this in the world as well and see the path you've traveled is another thing. Like, once you entered Hyrule Castle, it was pretty much near impossible to see what path you traversed. You just got lost and you didn't know what ground you had covered and which ground you didn't cover. 
you like the 3D maps visually, but not functionally. Yeah, I mean, that's the best way to describe them, is like, they're eye candy at the end of the day, but it's like... You're picking form over functionality, really. I don't know, when it, when it comes to UIs, it should be that the graphics should complement what the user is trying to do and never get in the way of it. That's something I, I firmly believe in. Um, and not do graphics for the sake of doing graphics, you know? Please don't. <laughs> That's just some leftover strategies from Breath of the Wild. Right, so she's on a lower floor. Wait a minute, is she... What? Hold on. Dude, stop slipping. Thank you. Is this a bad idea? <laughs> this, uh, this... Hang on, is this right? No, it's not right. I'm wrong. I should not be here. Where the fuck is she? <laughs> Hang on. I mean, I'll, I'll get the spot, but... Yeah. I think I just got lost. Imagine if this was a 3D map, I just would not find her. Okay, frame of reference. Let's find one. So she wants me to go over there. Alright, so it's like... Okay, I got, I got a frame of reference. I'm just going to walk around the whole castle. TV map and I'm having trouble. Yeah, I mean, I kind of wish more games did the Diablo thing where it just overlays the map and you can still see what you're doing. But it's such a good system. It's
I'm kind of sad Diablo 4 stopped doing it. Uh, I don't know. I see it's one of the most requested things. It's just, can we please have the map that lets us just overlay it? This is my problem right now, it's like a navigation thing. There we go. I'm just gonna remove the problem. It's fine. I got here. Alright, obviously not Zelda. The trap! Did I find the hover black design online or did I find it out myself? Someone told me about it, a friend. So I can't take credit for it, but the, uh, the one that I did, the land one, that one I, I did by myself. That was accidental. Yeah. I see no reason to just go defensive on this. Snake strike coming up. Just because they're allied, technically. Is that really the reason? What the fuck? Why wasn't it bring up Snake Strike? That was weird. Yeah, the mini tractor was great. It's so easy to steer, it transports Korok super great, it's really proud of that one. Lower. 
I need a drop. Now that I mentioned this map instead of the other one, you agree, the figure one was complicated and kind of nav as it is. Well, especially when you get down to the business of um, trying to get all the Koroks and figuring out where you've been, that feature just gets completely disabled when you go to a cast when you go to Hyrule Castle. So you have no way of getting a frame of reference of where you've explored on the castle at all. Whereas in here you can see, oh, okay, that's where I've been, that's where the Koroks I've found are, okay, cool. Like, at least it has this. It was funny, the last Korok I found was in Hyrule Castle, and it was for that reason. I just could not ascertain if I had explored it enough, and just decided to leave it. Where is she? It's pointing here, isn't it? Mm, slightly below. Is there such a thing as slightly? Yeah, there is. Inside. Should probably put the Korok mask back on. Again, rip. Okay, it's a high nox. That's fine. That's easy. Ooh, variety jelly. I kind of get a little hungry when I see that stuff. Okay, let's make another hammer. It looks very edible, even though I'm sure it's toxic. How much of the... Kind of worried that's going to be used in armor. Yeah, silver horoblin, I think, is a good one. <laughs> yeah, my comments on um, just usability and stuff. That's for those that don't know. Like my job involves that heavily. <laughs> I have to look at that shit on a daily basis and decide if something is good and is usable and people won't get confused and I have to put myself into the shoes of others like constantly. So when I see stuff like that in games I just can't help but think about how it could be better. Okay well this is easy. Don't mind killing them. They make uh, they make very good arrows. Oh no! Talk to the wrong one. There we go. Right. Thank you for that contribution, children. Yeah. 
you appreciate that you don't have to hunt down specific types of arrows. Yeah, it's so good. And we get more interesting ones. Like, they definitely streamlined that process a lot. Wait, are we going higher or higher? Higher. Okay, we're going higher. I still haven't tested the effects of a lot of stuff. I'm sure there's some very interesting combinations out there. That was just... I was relying... Relying on that being safe, and you know what? It was. below me, so I need to go down one. dislike how the lizards do the ragdoll thing. I should have just used ceiling. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. Oh. This is easy. Not that. I mean, there's something to be said about the visual style of the arrows for sure. I mean, the system they've made here is pretty, pretty good. And then now it goes up. Oh, it goes down. Down from here. So I guess we're following a path. It's kind of like the swords. On the one hand, sometimes you get visually looking visually interesting looking ones, but on the other, you kind of get ones like the one I'm carrying now, or I'm just not a fan of the look. But I mean, the system overall is, is interesting. Because this is technically a bridge, what, what's going on? Just like more. Uh, I probably need the horn for the Zora gear, to be honest.
Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure where it is. Not Zelda, the Korok. Yeah, why not? Oh, here we go. Okay, it's around here. It's probably at the top of this thing, then. Hang on. Let's just make sure I... I do need a climb, okay. I guess that makes sense because it's a bridge. Whoops, what am I doing? Okay, so we've got like about 50 minutes before the uh, direct starts, so... Whatever this is, I gotta resolve it in under an hour. And that's pretty much these games is just... Zelda's in trouble, but we take our sweet ass time with no sense of urgency whatsoever. I wish there was a quicker way to climb, but this one doesn't appear to have a ceiling. Okay, so it's still around here. Okay. Um. This is already fully upgraded, right? Yeah, it is. So I don't need more Silent Princess. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, where's this little bastard? <laughs> I thought it might have been under the bridge, but it's not. Oh, oh there it is! I saw it. <laughs> it's okay. out the window. Right, so this next spot it wants is like underneath here. Is that a wise choice? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. There she is. this case. Or not. Where's, where's my sniping, children? Where's the snipe? You guys have got this. There's usually treasure. Okay, there's nothing. 
Uh, arrows low. Nice. Ten. I think at this point, I would just give up on Hyrule Castle. And being anywhere near it. Like, there's no way this place is ever getting restored. It's just, it's never going to go back to its former glory. This is Princess Zelda's room again. Yeah, Chillin's usually more, uh... More active than that. See ya. This one pointing to. <laughs> well, then the stuff to read in a room, not that I could see. It's fine, it's probably nothing that we don't already know. Ah, oh, this is just annoying. Right. Yeah. Thanks. These, these things are, I, I find they're not worth fighting, generally speaking. Stones are powerful. I think you get more bang for your buck going after a, a Hinox or a Molduga. Link, I am waiting. Who oh, are you? Waiting for you. Sorry, that voice. I mean, it does. It purposely sounds like that. I mean, I find you get more bang for your buck killing a Molduga or a, uh, a Hinox. Hinox drops multiple weapons, so do Molduga. And their, uh, their stuff is just as useful, if not more so in the case of the Molduga. Like, look at the Molduga jaw, how much it gives you. It's kind of insane. Where is it? Like, a Molduga Jaw gives 32, Stalnox 29, Hinox 27, you know, even a blue gives you 19. But when you're fighting a black Hinox onwards, it's it's pretty good. Versus these, where it's like, okay, 4, 12, but it's elemental, 12, but it's elemental, 12, but it's elemental. Which, yeah, you could do that, or you could gather... If you want a good elemental thing, you just get a shard from the dragon. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just not worth the time. When you already have a better version of it with the dragon scales. 
And the Hinox stuff just does way more. I think even Horoblin stuff is better, so... That's my take on it. I think they're just a waste of time. But, uh, you use whatever you prefer. I just find them tedious to fight. I haven't gotten a single dragon shot off a dragon yet. You should. They're, they're good. Just jump on the dragon's back and just walk along it. Oops. Is she at the... Yep, she's at the summit now, so we can just go there. Gonna have to play tonight, then play a six hour block on Saturday, get an excuse to get some. Yeah, and just. One thing that I've been doing is riding the dragons, because every 10 minutes you can shoot them again and get another scale or a horn. Just as long as you pick it up right away. You can grab it the moment it spawns. I still need to get more dragon parts, but for now, this is fine. I think this is decent. Good pants, good shirt, and then Korok mask. Like, as much as I don't like the champion's tunic just because it's, I associate it with vanilla. Yeah. I can see its usefulness right now. Okay. Um, let's eat. Not that I think I'll need it, but... I'm gonna dedicate six hours to this game and then whatever chat tells you to do. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I don't really do anything for my stream anniversary other than acknowledge it on a minor basis. Waiting for you to arrive. Oh, really? Now, Link. There is something here I want to show you. What do you want to show me? Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, this was shown in the cutscene. When they revealed the game. Hyrule Castle. Perfect and glorious. Does it awaken memories? Memories? I'm sorry. His, of our time here? his face right now. Well, really take in every detail. After all, this place... It's where you'll die. ...will be the last thing you will ever see. Yeah. The fabled swordsman who endured my corruption, who has persisted in slaughtering my servants. Interesting. How is it that you survived my attack? It must have been that wretched arm. No matter. You will not live to see another sunrise. Is that so? My puppet entertain you. She made it so easy to mislead you. To keep you occupied. But such an indirect approach is no longer needed. <laughs> now we've established he's Ganon's VTuber. Oh man. My dark servant. Cut him down. Oh, it's just you. It's just you. I thought you... Okay, well, look, like... Listen. Okay, I also forgot about... There's multiple things we're gonna do here. Right. Okay. 
Okay, do, do, you want, do you want to know something funny? Oh, did, you better believe I'm, de I'm, de I'm definitely doing this. Um, okay, hold on. Wait, Ganon, wait! I need to prepare a healthy meal first before we begin. Where's crab? Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, I need to lead him away in order to be able to cook. This is fine. Don't worry. Okay, so here's here's the thing. This is what we're going to do. We need a distraction first, right? Oh, he's not he's not fooled by this. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. One, two, three. No wait. Uh decreases X. And then one, two, three. And cook. Oh, okay. You're not gonna let me cook, are you? Alright, fine. Be a, be an asshole. Um, what have I got on me? I overlooked the fact that I could have made myself stronger. Uh sure. Alright, now let's go. To learn! Look, I'm sure this is all well and good, but... <laughs> you got places to be. I've never seen that one before. That's cool. Bloom Spear. That's neat. I don't think I've ever seen him have that one. None of yours had clubs when you did this? Really? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. There's more to you than the power Raru has gifted. But not much more. They only had swords, spears, and bows. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> the sages! Link, we are here! What is this thing? You do not recognize me. Perhaps 
Perhaps there are limits to the knowledge the secret stones impart. You stand before Ganondorf. The foolish actions of your ancestors served only to delay my ascension. Allow me to show you, show you, the man that was and will be again when I am the voice acting again it's just like Matthew Mercer doesn't miss it's rare This is the new Blood Moon scene. That's cool, though. It is not? Man, that would have been cool. You cannot hope to escape your fate. My power will sweep across this land. You need but await the inevitable end. <laughs> Was that the Demon King we were warned about? It all really happened? This is Dyer. The Demon King. The man who nearly destroyed the world. Ganondorf. With his return, everyone's in danger. This isn't good. If that really was him, we're in real trouble. Hold on. He must not be at his full strength. Otherwise, why flee instead of finishing us off? We should return to Lookout Landing and decide what to do next. Link, you should come too. Oh. Well, well then. <laughs> Guess I'm in maximum power. That means the next thing is going to be a stamina wheel. Okay. That's neat. It's a happy little coincidence. Yeah, I mean, I I only started getting the club after I beat him a few times. It wasn't something that I got right away. But the club uh, appears way more often now. It's almost there every time. Um, the bow is good. I kind of want another one. These bows are just, at this point, they, they're full power. Um, but I don't, yeah, the club's fine. I don't want too many gloom weapons. Like, a couple, I think, is okay. My crabs! How dare he? Yeah, I mean, I'll... It's fine. I'll leave him there. You can put one all of Royal Claim on it does 102 damage. Yeah, but it's a I guess it's a gloom weapon. I suppose I could fuse a gloom weapon to a gloom weapon. Just keep the gloom. <laughs> gloom sword sword. It's a gloom sword sword. And then... Hang on. Wait. Okay, that is stupid. Demon King's bow spear.
Th that didn't work, did it? Plus 11, now remove it. That was dumb. <laughs> that's, the, that's the galaxy brain intelligence. Oh, if it's fused on another weapon, it won't. Let's see. No, oh, that seems to be fine, yeah. Okay. But I still want to do, like, the Gloom Club Club. <laughs> Hundred. Okay. And then the Gloom Spear Sword. Good lord, that is stupid. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be hammer time right there. Well, I already got something fused in the master, so I got the Mulduga jaw. Um, it's a it's a damage down. Muldugas are easy, and what they give you is pretty damn invaluable. Like, the Mulduga Jaw is a pretty insane weapon. You know what? Destroy fused material. What am I doing? <laughs> I need the axe. I was gonna put the light scale trident away. I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, that's full, that's full caveman unga bunga time. I don't need this anymore. This can be gone too. <laughs> Mental. <laughs> Just... All right, cool. Not all, I mean, there are some good-looking fused weapons, like the lion- this, I don't mind the look of. That looks cool. Or, the, you know, the Zonite stuff. Eh, it's decent. This one looks alright as well. Let's just- yeah, there are some derpy combos. Oh yeah, right, lightning. Gotta remember. Um, sure. Um... What shield have we got on currently? This one. Yeah, there we go. Course. Have I gotten the Hylian shield yet? No, but I'll look for it at some point later. I don't want... Jesus Christ, what was that? I don't want to know where it is. I'll, I'll figure it out. There we go. Back to the standard get up. Hyrule. Yeah, I know what you meant though. Like, the thing is, I've I talked about this recently, is like, for some reason they interchange it. Like, sometimes they say Hyrulean, sometimes they say Hylian. And I'm not sure if there's a rule as to when and why they use it sometimes. Just, 
it's a, it's a bit weird the inconsistency. I'm not quite sure. Like, when they're talking about the text, they call it Hyrulean text. But then when they're talking about the shield, it's the Hylian shield. There's, there's a bunch of stuff that um, have holes. I think the one that's bothered me the most is... And it only started bothering me when I realized it, but like... You know, those monuments they get you to find, and then they the dude reads it in the ancient language. It's like, wait a minute, he's reading an ancient language, that's fine, but when we see Zelda in the past, they don't talk like that. You know, they're, they're not talking in this weird old English language, right? They're just speaking modern, modern day language, so it's, it's just... Yeah, <laughs> it makes me more annoyed about that. It's just, I don't mind when they put foreign languages into game if they just go all the way with it. But when it's something where it's just like tedious to read and then they half ass it and then the rest of it is just in normal English. Like, dude, just make it in English. You could have just said, oh, it's in this, it's in an old language. Let me translate it and try not to make me read that like it, it, all, it gave me a headache <laughs> trying to read that text. Anyway, I didn't teleport just in case of Koroks, and it was a good move. I just want to walk around the perimeter a little. Go. There's another. One should be the species and one should be the nationality. But then it's weird that a species is a nationality. Because then it would imply that the Gerudo are a different species, you know what I mean? It, it doesn't make sense. I mean, maybe, maybe they are. I'm not heavy into lore myself, so... I'm sure that there, there are many reasons. Can't believe that one missed. That one hit! <laughs> Alright, just Maldu Malduga Jaw. So good. You hate the hands. I, yeah. I hated them initially, but then I realized I was trying to fight them from a melee perspective, and that's just not the right idea. Don't fight them. Like a melee character. Just... I need the Korok stick. Yeah, I mean, this, this isn't really doing me much justice. So there's nothing here this time. You're still missing the last heart container. You don't know where to get it. What? Really? Hang on, maybe I should just try light 
the, the thing. I'm going too much by shrine shit. Oh. Well, I can't carry any more shields, so I'm just going to have to leave it here. Sorry, chat. Um. Sure. It shat it breaks, right? The shield breaks, right? Like it's still the same, it's just I'm not gonna use it because it's just gonna break. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, how are you missing a heart container? Have you done all the shrines? Cause I haven't done all the shrines and I have all heart containers. Oh, I know where it is. I know where it is. Haha, <laughs> I know where it is. I know where it is. Yeah, I suppose you can always get a new one. It just clicked. I know where it is. I mean, obviously, because I have it. It's just I, I realized where I where it is. It has good durability. Yeah, it does. I just don't want it to break. Oh, alright. Ugh. And I'm not gonna tell it. No, Messiah wants to know where I think it is. Messiah can ask. I'm not gonna be just like, oh, I'll just spoil it. Just, I think I have a good feeling as to where it is, that's all. I don't believe in fusing something to the Hylian shield. I might be a purist, but I think it'll just... Unless it does... Unless it does the same thing that, um... Unless it does the same thing that the Master Sword does, where it just becomes innately part of it, and it doesn't affect the aesthetics. I'm good. Thank you, children. Where is... Yahaha. Unless it's directly above me. I'm going to be very lazy here. I don't want the chest anyway, but like... <laughs> oh, here we go. I mean, it's fine. This is like a low tier bow anyway. <laughs> I love that I made a switch out of the uh, the treasure chest. I'm gonna do it again. Oh wait, it oh no, there it is. There it is.
Um, is the deep dungeon still there? I'm not, I'm not scared of it, it's just... Where is the switch that does this? Unless one of these ones act as an inverse switch where it seals one. I know, the first time I came across that thing I shit bricks and just teleported out of there. I did, I saw it, I was like, oh no, yep. This is not something I should be facing now. Away we go. Maybe one of these combinations would do it. Unless I have to get there from below, which is always a possibility. It's not open, so let me see. What can I see in this room? Is there a hole in the wall, maybe? It's also gone now. It's so weird because it still drops stuff. Outside. Let me continue walking, but it doesn't appear to be a opening mechanic. How much time? Ten minutes. Shit. Okay. Um, ten minutes until the direct. <laughs> Gonna go make coffee waffles and prep dinner. All right. No worries, Magic Me. Oh, thanks for uh, hanging out. Enjoy the food. Nintendo Direct in 10 minutes. So I gotta wrap this up. Where? Yeah. We'll see. I mean, I already know what one of the games are gonna be. It's a new 1-2 Switch. So... Unfortunately, a bit of the direct is going to get taken up with uh, the presentation of that, most likely. And then there's going to be Pikmin 4, which uh, I haven't played a Pikmin game before, but I've heard good things about the series. But I mean, predictions, is, I'll go over them before we start watching. Maybe now's the time, like if I, unless I can find a way into the dungeon. There's a Nintendo Direct in 10 minutes, I believe, if I'm not wrong. It's either in 10 minutes or an hour in 10 minutes if I got my time zones wrong. If you're in Pacific time zone and it's like 10 in the, almost 10 in the morning, then...
Okay, there's the Korok. There may be a window, but it's raining, so I can't climb anyway. I hope it's not a bunch of tactics RPG anime games. I mean, to each their own. Like, sometimes you'll eat well at a direct, sometimes you won't. That's just how it is. Okay, so that's neat. Alright. Um... Well, I mean, either way, I've been playing for two and a half hours, so that, I think, is a good size for a VOD. And, honestly, logical stopping point after that. Okay, so I'm not done with the stream. Uh, we are wrapping up the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom segment for now. So, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, consider doing algorithm button pressing stuff, whatever I say usually. And thanks to those that have been doing that. It helps the channel a lot, so... Appreciate it. But yeah, we'll do more of this uh, over the weekend. So, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.